Jamie Winkup, thanks so much for joining us at Sportsnet Holidays, mate. At the venue of your first ever win back in 2006, Eclipsal 500, it must be nice to come back. Yeah, always good to come to Adelaide. It's always good to start a brand new championship as well. Um, yeah, we've got two cars all ready to go. I physically feel as good as I ever had, so I'm looking forward to getting out on the track. Absolutely. Now, on the physicality of it, you've just signed a contract extension. That's going to be 10 years with Triple Eight Racing. Now, that's long service leave, mate. It's a long time in any job. What do these guys and yourself do to keep it fresh and to keep it new? Yeah, they do do a good job. Um, the biggest change I've had is Car of the Future, which came in at the start of last year. Uh, that's been a real good motivator to try to, uh, to try to get the most out of these new cars. We're only 85% there, so we've still got another at least 12 months of uh, development to do before we really get on top of them. Um, but for me this year, uh, I've got a brand new engineer. So my new guy, David Couchy, he's been around the, he's been around the scene a long time. He's uh, He's been at Triple Eight for over five years. I think it's almost seven years now. So, But he's still regarded as a rookie engineer. Um, so that's going to be a good challenge for us. And so you talk about the car of the future now. When we sit back in our armchairs and watch it on telly, even the in-car footage, it looks so easy to drive. Tell me, how difficult is it with these new machines? That, well, that's one of the issues we've got. I even look at my own onboard footage when I, uh, when I finish the run, and it looks so much easier than what's going on inside the car, you know? We're, we're really hanging on to the thing, corner to corner. Um, it's so brutal. The inside the car, you're getting bashed around all over the place. But um, yeah, that onboard footage just looks like we're just sitting back cru cruising along. Now, we talked about the physicality again, uh, training. Obviously, there's the heat issues, the perspiration, loss of fluids. Um, how much do you put into it? Are you a big trainer? You don't like it? You love it? Well, training's part of sport, you know. I, I don't love my training. Um, I love the quote from uh, Muhammad Ali, you know, I hated every minute of training, but uh, but it all paid off, you know, it was well worth it. So uh, that's the same thing as me. I, we're, we're every day without doubt, a bit, a bit of running, riding, swimming, a little bit of gym work. But um, as you say, the car's going to be over 50 degrees this weekend for over two hours. It's quite physical. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's the toughest thing I've done without doubt. Now, aside from that, the lifestyle, you've done it for a long time, you've been racing effectively since you were seven, yeah. which is, I mean, you're 31 now, you're a five-time uh, champion, and yet you're still the second youngest in the top 10 from last year, uh, which is pretty amazing. So is it as cool a life as we think at home? Is it the glitz and glam? Is it all glory, shiny machines, beautiful garages? The pit lane does have, have people come into the sport thinking it's all just parties and hot chicks and you know we're all just drinking and it's all it's all good times but they only last two or three months and go hang on there's a lot a lot of hard work goes on behind the scenes so um it's not all glitz and glamour there is a, a fantastic part of the sport the one what we love but um the hard work as well that uh, makes it makes it that, that's what it's all about but uh if to stand on the top step of the podium that's a that's a money can't buy experience and that uh that's what that's what we do it for all right, wrap it up shortly, mate. We, as you can hear, guys, it's very, very busy here, and Jamie's got a lot to do. But uh, as I said, five-time champion, defending three in a row at the moment. Uh, you've got your teammate, Craig Lowndes, with that sheepish grin he's always got on his face. Tell me behind the scenes, is that grin always there? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Lowndes is a straight shooter, great bloke. Doesn't get too stressed about anything. Um, so, no, he's, a, he's been a fantastic teammate, and we will be teammates for 10 years now, so uh, I couldn't think of a, another person that I'd, I'd rather be a uh, teammate to. Perfect. And before we let you go, something we like to do if you're prepared, a yeah. little bit of word association. I'm just going to give you one word and a, or a little phrase, and I want to hear your first reaction to it. Bearing in mind where we are, number one, Ford. Uh, hopefully second. Red Bull Racing. Hopefully first. Family. The most important people in the world. Retirement. Hopefully a long way away. If you weren't a V8 superstar, you would be? Probably on the doll. <laughs> folder or scruncher? Definitely a folder. And Sportsnet's Hidden Valley function up in Darwin? Heaps of fun, and I'll be there. Thanks very much, Jamie. Been a pleasure, mate. Appreciate your time.